everybody, welcome back. Badass Farmer here, and today we're gonna to be in my fig orchard, my little mini orchard, and I'm gonna show you guys uh, how I covered them up for the winter, and uh, we're gonna uncover them right now to see if they actually made it through the winter because we did get some pretty cold temperatures. So let's take a look and uh, we'll see what happened. So what you're looking at here is the first fig tree and basically what we did and I apologize for the wind it's a windy day so I'm gonna try to make this quick we put um, we strung up the actual branches around first we stuffed it with straw put burlap around it put a string around the burlap tied that and then we put the tarp over top of it and strung up around that and then we put the mulch the wood chips down below to kind of like you know really give it a good base and if you kind of look uh, you can see how all of them have a nice little strong base with wood chips at the bottom but uh, let's start um, uncovering these guys and see how they made it through the winter alright so all I'm gonna do is just cut this with a string I mean cut the string with a knife first And I tried to tie it pretty tight at the base to make sure that the wind didn't uh, pick it up. And the other reasons why I did this much wood chips is because I, I wanted to make sure that none of this tarp was hanging out. Because, let me just show you real quick. See, that's the, that's the bottom of the tarp. So this is hanging like this. You get a big strong wind. Going up in here, guess what? This thing is coming off. Well, let's take a look. Take off the first layer. It's not too bad. Ooh, I don't like how it's wet over here though. That's not a good sign. So we're gonna take off more of the string. And you basically want to try to keep it as dry as possible and I, I did the best I could to, to cover it with the tarp so it wouldn't get wet so I don't know what exactly happened there. So here we have a lot of straw and the tips were messed up and that was because of the, uh, the wetness. So this didn't turn out to be as good as I was hoping, but let's see how the rest of it did. Well, let me pull all this out and I'll be back so we can take a closer look. Real quick, I want to show you what I did with the string. Um, first, I did my first tie, tie right here at the, at the base. And basically, I just kind of went around like this, trying to pull these branches in they were a little bit further out but I pulled them in so they could make them a little bit tighter and then once that was done I stuffed it with the straw all the way down to the base all the way up to the tip um, to the very tip of the tree and my biggest concern was the very tips and this I don't know what happened with the uh, the tarp it seemed like it was fine but this got destroyed the rest of it is okay. We have the tips that mainly took the, the hit. So I'll just cut here, I'll cut here, I'll cut here. Whatever is dead, which I can obviously see because of the, the black coloration, but from here on down, everything looks good. Um, and I don't know if all of them are like that. I don't know what's going on with that tarp, but it's not as nice as I was hoping it was gonna be. The other issue that it could have been we had a lot of rain. Um, or what about the that, heat? The storm. I was just about to say the that. Condensation. With the, with the storm. And we had like 70 degree temperatures in the month of February. Uh, which was a big concern for me because I, I wasn't sure what was going on inside here. Because, you know, you got 70 degrees temperature. It's probably going to be 100 easily in here. And, um, but, you know, the problem was is if I would have taken it off then it would have, you know, dipped down to the freezing temperatures again. So, you know, it's, it's just, 
not a normal year uh, for this area for, for being so warm in the month of February. Um, but, you know, for the most part, it, it, it did what it was supposed to do, which is protect the foliage. It just didn't protect the very tips of it. So that is, you know, we're going to take a look at a couple other ones and see um, how they turned out. So let's take a look. All right, so guys, I just want to have you take a close look at how we put the tarp over here. We tried to do it so that it was closed at the top, completely covered. You didn't have, I didn't like all this opening stuff here because I know rain can kind of come in there, but you know, it's a tarp. What are you going to do? You know, so let me cut this off. We're going to see real quick how this guy did. Again. Yeah. Again, wet in the corner. Or one on one whole side, really. So here we go. Looks like it's the same deal. Looks like. A lot of this one, yeah, that one's almost like completely, see the different color? This is a good one. You can see it's pretty healthy. Yeah, the tips have to be probably, uh, no, that one not too bad, but definitely here, that would probably get cut right there. This guy, I'm probably gonna have to cut it all the way down here, if not lower. I gotta see going further down where we're at. Not the best result for me, but you know, it was an experiment. It's all an experiment at this point. So I'm, I'm happy that it's, at least the majority of it still survived. This guy is probably going to have to be cut here. See how that, see how it gets skinny like that? That's not good. That's when it starts to, and you can almost feel, yeah, see that's snapped. So when it snaps like that, the, the wood is, is dead. Um, and I'm probably just going to cut it down here. Anyway, that's it guys. Um, if you try to cover your pigs, oh, and by the way, if you're doing this at home, um, if you have this by your house, kind of the corner, you're probably going to be okay. Uh, because pigs love to be protected. Um, they don't like a whole lot of wind. And uh, if, if you have it up against your house in the corner, but that has good sunlight, you should be fine. You probably won't even need to cover it unless you get like single digits. So, because we're out exposed to the elements, there's no walls, there's no house, nothing over here. This is all right in the middle of the field. I knew I had to do something for this to survive. So, if I didn't do this, this would all probably be dead. So, either way, um, it's, it's, it's a win. It's just not um, what I was hoping for, but that's it. So, <laughs> hope you guys learned something. And if you guys have a better idea than this, please, let a brother know because <laughs> I need to find out what to, what's going to work for real. You know what I mean? All right, guys, that's it. I'm out of here. I got some work to do, so peace out. <laughs>